Hey everyone, welcome to Bodhi Life Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Cross My Heart Crochet Bag. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you in what way we will begin the project. So we are going to begin with a magic circle and then we're going to do increasing rows and then a few rows of double crochet. We'll do the stitch pattern, a few rows of half double crochet, and then finally we will end doing the one strap. This one was using half double crochet, and in this tutorial I'll be using single crochet because it's a much more reliable um, stitch for the strap. For this bag I used the colorway Cloud 9, but for this tutorial I'll be using Mochaccino. I used Lion Brand Yarns Comfy Cotton Blend and in one ball of yarn you get seven ounces so you only need one ball for this project. It's a lightweight number three weight yarn and I'll be using Mochaccino for this bag. And for this project you're going to need a USH 5mm crochet hook. So to get started, we're going to make a magic circle. If you need a slower video for this, I will put it in the description box below. This is how I make my magic circle. Then you will chain two to begin. One, two, and we're going to stitch 12 half double crochets into this magic circle. If you are a beginner, I actually have a crochet 101 playlist here on my channel and I will link that in the description box as well. It'll show you how to do the magic circle and all the basic stitches like half double crochet, double crochet, how to chain, and all that good stuff. Once you have completed row one, pull the tail and then slip stitch to the top of the first stitch. For row two, you're going to begin with a chain two and you're going to place two double crochets in each stitch around. At the end of row two, you're going to slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. This is what you're going to do at the end of every row. And then you're going to begin with a chain two, double crochet into the same stitch as your chain, and then place two double crochets into the next stitch. Double crochet once into the next stitch and then place two double crochets into the next. You're going to follow this pattern of two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochet into the next, all the way around for the rest of the row. At the end of row three, you will slip stitch to close and begin row four. So you're going to chain two double crochet into the same stitch, double crochet into the next, and then place two double crochets into this next stitch. Now we're going to place one double crochet into the next two. Followed by two double crochet into this next stitch. So you're going to do two double crochets into one stitch, 
and then follow it with one double crochet into the next two all the way around. At the end of row four, you're going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch to close and then get started on row five. Here we will chain two, double crochet into the same stitch, then place one double crochet into the next two. Next, you will place two double crochet into the next stitch. And now we will place one double crochet into the next three stitches. And you will follow this pattern until the end of the row. So you will do two double crochet into one stitch, followed by one double crochet into the next three stitches. Finish with a slip stitch and then begin row six. Row six will chain two, double crochet into that first stitch, and place one double crochet into the next three. Next, place two double crochet into the next stitch. Followed by one double crochet into the next four. And repeat this pattern until the end of the row. slip stitch to the top of the stitch and for row 7 we will chain 2, double crochet into the first stitch, double crochet into the next 4, Then we will place two double crochet into the next stitch. Followed by one double crochet into the next five. Slip stitch to close and move on to row 8 where we will chain 2, double crochet into the same stitch, and double crochet into the next 5 stitches. Next, we'll place two double crochet into this stitch, followed by one double crochet into the next six stitches. Repeat this pattern for the rest of the row. 
Slip stitch to close this row and begin row 9 where we will chain 2, double crochet into the same stitch, and then double crochet into the next 6 stitches. Next, you'll place two double crochet into the next stitch, and you will repeat this pattern of two double crochet to one double crochet into the next seven for the rest of the row. Once you are finished with row nine, that was the very last row of increasing rows, so you will slip stitch to close, and rows 10 through 12 are just going to be regular double crochet. So we're gonna chain two, double crochet into the same stitch, and then double crochet once into each stitch around and we're actually going to repeat that for a total of three rows. Once you're done with your three rows of double crochet, you can see that it starts to make this kind of bowl shape, and this will be the bottom part of the bag. And then we can move on to row 13, where we will begin the stitch pattern. Chain three, and then into the next stitch, we're going to place a double crochet. Then you're going to chain one, and then double crochet into that same stitch. And this will create what I call the V stitch. After this, you're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three. Into that fourth stitch, you're going to crochet five double crochet stitches and this is what I refer to as the fan stitch. So here's the fan stitch, and next you're going to skip three stitches one, two, three, and into this fourth stitch, you're going to work another V stitch. So we're going to double crochet. Chain one, and double crochet into that same stitch. And we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So we're going to alternate the fan stitch and the V stitch. So skip three and then place five double crochet into that fourth stitch to make the fan. And just continue this alternating stitch pattern for the rest of the row. At the end of row 13 you will have two stitches left over and we're just going to slip stitch into the top of this very first stitch.
So here I just wanted to show you the stitch pattern. This was the chain that we started at, and then the first one was a V stitch, and then the fan stitch, and we alternated all the way around. And now what we're going to do is the opposite. So when we start this row, we're going to start with a chain three, but then we're going to place five double crochet inside this V stitch. Next, we're going to work a V stitch at the top of this previous fan stitch. So count three, and in that third stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. Chain one. And double crochet into that same stitch to make the V. And you'll just continue alternating this pattern by doing the opposite stitch into the previous one. So next we'll do the fan stitch, followed by another V stitch, and so on and so forth. Here is what it will look like at the end of row 14 and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first stitch to close. And what we're going to do is alternate these two rows, 13 and 14, for a total of 8 rows. So just to show you how I would start this row, we chain 3 and into that third stitch you'll place a double crochet, chain 1, double crochet. Next we'll do a fan stitch inside this V stitch, so place 5 double crochet here and continue this pattern all the way around. Here's what the stitch pattern looks like after you have done your eight rows. Then we will start working on row 23, which is just going to be a series of half double crochet. So begin with chain two, and we're just going to half double crochet into each stitch around. So for rows 23 to 26, you will begin with a chain two and just half double crochet into each stitch around. Here's what it will look like when you have finished those four rows of half double crochet. And then we can begin crocheting the strap portion of this bag.
So once you slip stitch to close, what we're going to do is work some single crochets across. So what I like to do is um, kind of make the bag a little bit more evenly placed. So I'm working in the middle of it. And then we're just going to begin with a chain one since we're working with single crochet. And we're going to work one single crochet into the next 12 stitches. Once you're completed with those 12 single crochet, you're just going to work another row of single crochet across the top of that. So chain one, turn your work, and single crochet into the same stitch as your chain, and across, which will be 12 single crochet all together. And you're just going to repeat this for as long as you want your strap to be. I repeated this for 116 rows and my strap was about 26 inches long and don't forget to take into account of the stretch of the yarn so if you think it'll be stretching quite a bit I would make your strap shorter so the bag um, doesn't hang too low. Once you are finished with your 116 rows of single crochet, we are going to attach the strap to the other side of the bag. I also wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of this stretch. I used half double crochet when I first made this pattern and it stretched way too much, but the single crochet seemed to do a lot better. So you will need a darning needle and little craft scissors, and you will want to make sure you leave a long enough tail for you to use to sew in the strap. So here I turned my bag inside out before I sewed the strap to the other side. I found with uh, whip stitches, it doesn't really make a huge difference in my projects, but I did it anyway. So I turned it inside out and I made sure it was aligned with the other side of the strap. And here we'll just take the darning needle and sew just a quick whip stitch across the strap in the top of the bag. But you have to make sure that you get that yarn under each stitch because we want it to be nice and sturdy. Once you are done stitching, you're going to want to weave in your ends. And I like to go in from every angle and just kind of go back and forth to make sure that the yarn is locked in.
Once you're finished, go ahead and cut off the rest of your yarn and don't forget to weave in that um, extra yarn at the very bottom of the bag. And when you are all done, you can turn it right side out to see your finished bag. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you liked this pattern, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, wherever you would like to share it. And if you make one, please tag me at Bodie Life Crochet on any of those social media accounts. Happy crocheting!